Nostalgia is the world's premier online digital club for culture exclusively designed for sneaker enthusiasts. Using Slack as the base platform, Nostalgia is set up as an exclusive membership-only group in which sneaker enthusiasts can join to get all of their latest sneaker news and hang out, share, engage, and debate in sneaker talk. An exclusive community where you can engage, network, and build relationships. Your sneaker customizers, your sneaker shop owners, your collectors, your vloggers, your historians, all engaging and networking together under one digital roof. Jordan. What's going on world? Brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm your host, George Kill, and I'm here with Todd Bradford of OK State Football. Todd, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Thanks for coming. Yes. Glad you're here. Definitely, definitely. I'm with the perfect person. You're the director of recruiting. So I'm your recruit today. First, I want to start off with this amazing branding right here. What is this a print of? So this print is of uh, the cowboy walk that we do from the hotel to the stadium. Crowd meets outside and waits for the team to come out. And then we come out with the band and Coach Gundy and our team and walk a couple blocks from the hotel down here to Boone Pickens Stadium to get ready for the game. And then of course, cowboy culture, that's what Coach Gundy's built the program on. You'll see lots of things as we go through the building that talks about the cowboy culture and the things that we're looking for for perfect fit for guys to be part of our program. Okay, so this is our football dining hall almost 11,000 square feet. We use this facility quite extensively, obviously for our team, breakfast and dinner. We also use it a lot for recruiting. You can see here, it looks out over Boone Pickens Stadium. So we have a lot of recruiting functions up here where we're able to, on game day, have kids up here, regardless of the weather, we can keep them warm a little bit and still show them the facility and what we're getting ready to do. And then of course, all the dining that we have for our players here is uh, really the, the best in the country, we think. Here we have just a, a small sample of our helmets and uniforms that we wear. I think we're up to 90 combinations since 2011. And so when we get downstairs in the equipment room, you get with uh, Justin, he'll have a lot more of this, but a lot of really neat stuff that we have inside of our Nike contract. So along this wall here is all of our national award winners. You can see that uh, Coach Gundy, since taking over as the head coach, has had multiple, multiple award winners. We have the Blitnikoff Award, the Johnny Unitas Award. We've won the Blitnikoff, I think, three times since Coach Gundy's been the head coach. He was coach of the year. And then all the way through the hall here, you know, is where we honor our guys who were great players, right up to, you know, obviously Barry Sanders just was named the greatest college football player ever. We're really proud of him and, uh, you know, all the great things that he's done. One thing I'm noticing throughout the entire facility is the wood finish. What is that significance for OK State football? Well, you know, when Coach Holder and Coach Gundy and Mr. Pickens, when this was just a dream of theirs, this was all part of the look and feel that they wanted. We wanted to have the best facility in college football and you know, those three guys were able to put it together and do it. Okay, so this is the lobby for football. We house the Heisman Trophy here, Barry's Heisman. We also have where we're honoring Mr. Pickens or recruits or whatever we're doing this is set up to be changeable and interactive. So it's changing all the time, depends on what we have going on in the facility that day. Is it game day? Is it a recruiting day? Is it a tour day? All those kinds of things. Right, now with you being a director of recruiting and you've been here for quite a while, can you think back to some recruits that you've had here that you knew off top they were gonna be legit? You know, it's funny. We've had a lot of big name recruits that have come here and been very good. And then uh, I think we've done a really good job of we've had some guys that weren't big name recruits that came here and turned out to be great players. Part of what's made Coach Gundy so successful is we've been able to pick those right guys and, and they've come in here and fit into the cowboy culture and become the kind of players that we needed to be for us to win. I think Mike's uh, in the top 10 winning his coaches in his run here at Oklahoma State. We're currently on a 14 year run of consecutive bowl games, longest in the country. You know, we, we have a lot of great stuff going. Now, some of the players that are in the NFL or have retired, uh, how often do they come back? You know, we see those guys quite a bit. They're around the facility quite often. We want them around as much as possible. And so, yeah, it's great to have them around, especially if you were involved in coaching them or recruiting them, you know, it's fun to see those guys. So one of the unique features of our facility here at Boone Pickens Stadium is this is uh, position coaches offices. 
This is Coach Dunn's office. He's coached three of the uh, Blitnikoff Award winners here at Oklahoma State. Pretty good setup. You can exit his office into the stadium. This is where all of our families sit on game day. So it's a pretty unique spot in college football. So as you look along the stadium, you can see that we're completely ringed by suites, 123 suites around the stadium here. Now we were talking earlier, tell me how the basketball facility and the football facility, they kind of co-partner in certain ways. Yeah, so as you look across the stadium there, you can see those top row of windows above the Jumbotron. That's the only skybox that I know of in the country that is for both basketball and football. So if you're sitting in the seats on this side, you're at the football game, if you're sitting on the seats on the other side, you're looking into Gallagher Iva to the basketball game. Really unique place to be and watch a game. I hear a lot about this east, west, north, south configuration. Uh, right. Tell me about that. Well, most stadiums run north and south, which would be running across our 50 yard line. This is an east and west stadium and uh, there are not many in the country. So when you hear football coaches forever say, hit that thing running north, you'd be running out of bounds here. Okay, so here we are in just a position meeting room. This is our linebackers that you can see, but each position has a room similar to this. It either looks into the stadium or it looks out onto campus. You can see all the video equipment, everything's built in, wall to ceiling, whiteboards, you know, just a great space for the kids to meet in. And as you kind of come around this way and look out the window here, you can see our practice facility, the Sherman Smith Training Center. Cost us about 20 million to build, 94,000 square feet. We have a full 100 yard field on the inside there. We have 300 yard fields as practice facilities on the outside really makes it a really great place to practice. Okay, now we're here with Justin Williams. Justin, you're the director of equipment here for OK State Football. I have to admit, I didn't know you guys had this many combinations. That's a lot of work that goes into this. This is 28 of around 36 helmets that we have worn on game day since 2011 when we started the uniforms and all the different looks. It started kind of just with adding a black and a matte gray. We instituted the gray to give us another uniform look and the players really responded to that. They loved the gray look. And just over time, we've just kind of added to and evolved. So the gray ended up moving to a carbon fiber look for us. We brought in the orange helmet and then we just continued to try to incorporate our different logos, which fortunately we've had a lot of different looks over our history that we can kind of feed into it. Then obviously the orange evolved into the chrome and it just kept going. Probably one of the coolest things we've been able to do is for homecoming for our alumni is try to incorporate the homecoming helmets because a lot of this is for the newer age player or recruit. So that's kind of our tip of the cap to the alumni to show them that we remember them too and add to the history of the, of the program as well. Now you have the alum and, and the boosters who sometimes don't like change, right? So what would be their helmet that they love the most, the most traditional helmet? I would have to say probably the 88 version because our most distinguished football player, Barry Sanders, had that helmet. Thurman Thomas, who's a Hall of Famer, wore that helmet. It was a really good time in Oklahoma State and a lot of people love the brand look because it really ties into that cowboy feel. Is there one helmet that you would say, when it came through these doors, you were like, whoa. I would say the Paisley helmet, how it came together, and the details that came with that. The company that we had do it just really made it a special looking helmet. Now let's quickly, outside the helmets, kind of run through some of the apparel and the, the jerseys. Up front here on the front of the table, we got a couple of shirts here that were tied to the Barry Sanders event that we did for his 30th Heisman. This is really cool here. This is a special shoe that Nike did for us. This was actually a Zoom Turf that Barry had when he was playing that they were able to modify in our colors and then put the OSU logo on one shoe and then the, the retired number 21 on the other shoe. And then Coach's big deal now is the win with discipline shirt. He wants the players to not beat themselves, be disciplined in everything you do. And then we're part of Nike's rivalry program. There's only about a handful of schools that are involved in the rivalry program. So that's an example of the rivalry shirt we did for the guys this year. And then obviously the camo shirt is for military appreciation. This jersey was designed to dress as a marshal because Pistol Pete 
who is our mascot, is a U.S. Marshal. Probably the most original aspect of this is that it's based off an actual human being and not a traditional animal or some sort of other mascot. So when we came up with this concept, obviously every marshal has to have their marshal's badge. So that's where the badge comes into play. And then you have a custom Oklahoma State Paisley around the neck and around the cuffs here. Individual little pieces here that tell the story kind of, of Oklahoma State's history. So you've got the train here from Tombstone and then you've got the Bedlam Bell, which is our trophy when we play against Oklahoma, that team down south. And then we've got the Spirit Rider here, the Paddle People. And then we also made sure it was very important for us to, to recognize the four retired numbers that we have here, 21, 34, 43, and 55. And that's Barry Sanders, Thurman Thomas, Bob Fenimore, and Terry Miller. So there's a lot of history kind of being told in the uniform, just in the little details that they put around the neck. Obviously, we went through all of our color runs. So you got the orange, black, white and gray annual uniforms as of right now and then went with a military appreciation uniform which i really enjoyed this piece this was a lot of fun to get involved with we put the shield on the sleeve here the american flag and then the man who's in charge of folds of honor who raises money for scholarships for families he's from stillwater oklahoma it kind of tied into everything so we put that on the chest to kind of recognize and bring it all kind of together, the educational plus the athletic side of things. Everybody's favorite would be the 88 throwback that we did, warm against Texas when we beat them here in Stillwater. You can't go wrong with this. This is perfection for us. A former alum from Oklahoma State who worked at Kansas State for a long time, who's recently been retired as an equipment guy. He did all these helmets for us to kind of add to the history of our helmets and our look. So he brought these in here for us to display. He did a lot of work for us and we proudly display those up top here. This wall here is Coach Gundy's big thing right now. It's the four core values of Oklahoma State football, focus, effort, toughness, and leadership. He hammers those values home every day, so it's important for the guys to see it. And then now, this is the Oklahoma State football locker room. Very classic, traditional, the wood finish. When you get it clean and presented and the jerseys and the helmets and everything's here on game day, there's not a way to describe the feeling of just being here and being around it. All right, so now we're in the team room and this is where daily meetings are had for Coach Gandhi to meet with everybody on the team. We do our annual staff meeting here where everybody in the staff comes in here and meets with our athletic director. When I was these players age, it'd be hard for me to stay awake in this room, but it's very comfortable and relaxed. There's over 200 seats in here, so everybody can be in here. And then right outside here, we've got a little bit more history of our program. We've got our game programs up against the wall. So you can see all the game programs from every bowl game we've been in, other photos of bowl games we've been in while under Coach Gundy. The green room is just kind of a football-oriented room. Coach Gundy really respects his walk-on program, so he has a wall there for the walk-ons, so he can acknowledge those guys that have come through and, and done the right things and been successful. In the weight room, that's our football weight room, football only, so the strength staff here does a great job, and that's where these guys get ready to go. Justin, thank you so much for letting us come out and check out everything you guys have to offer in Stillwater, man. Absolutely, man. It's great meeting you guys. You guys are welcome anytime. Some of these you've already seen from the previous videos, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about something that I, I wanted to have for the last video, but we just didn't have. My Power Ranger setup. These are all Mosh Customs. It's got that gold toe on there. I have not worn any of the Power Ranger Customs yet. I feel like this is more of an art piece. I want to display it. I have some legacy Power Ranger collector items that I would really like to display with these. The uh, Maze Yellow, Women's Maze Yellow. It, this is the one that I really, really enjoyed. This was the hardest shoe of the whole set to get. And you got the saber tooth Tiger on there. My favorite shoe of the whole set, we use the Flint 13s, the Blue Ranger. We got the Triceratops on the toe and on the tongue, the gold medallion that was on the chest. And the set is actually modeled after the movie, the, uh, the motion picture movie where they had like the hard armor, not the spandexy suits. The Black Ranger actually was a frog in the movie though. I wanted the Mastodon. Let's actually go around the shop, um, kind of get a quick tour of what's happening and. Uh, just kind of how you guys have everything sectioned off. So we have all of our Yeezys down here. Then we have a couple of li like lifestyle shoes. We have the Sakai's, the Revenge Storms, the Fear Gods, a couple of SBs, or the Pharrell's. Then these are three of our more sought after Supreme pieces. We have the Three Six Mafia photo tee. And here we have all just more collectible 
more higher priced. We have the I Love You Mom, Kyrie's, a pair of 1996 Jordan 11s, a pair of the Travis 1s, and then the Travis 6s with the baby.